welcome back to another episode of Crystal Hook Fishing, and welcome back underwater, everybody. College is kicking my ass, but I get time every now and then to sit down and edit some videos. I still got some in the hopper, ready to post. Can't wait to get back in the water again. But, uh, yeah, living in a little urban area is really hard on my ability to just get out in nature and so I feel for all y'all that you know might not have access to diving the way that I did even six months ago so today is an awesome grouper day getting the water loading up the gun and everything and I know it's gonna be good it's it's pretty clear there's almost no current and the fish are just everywhere I get in there's mackerel everywhere I start loading up the gun and I actually like see a mackerel uh, just like kinda swimming by See, I'm commenting on the, the water clarity when I say, ooh. First good dive on this spot. We had dove a different spot before and saw gags, but hadn't seen much. Get down on this dive, follow the anchor chain down, because we were with Henry today and he doesn't have a trolling motor, so we just did the chain technique. See two gags, fire off on the big one. Absolutely rolled him, but the spear didn't go all the way through, so as I'm pulling up, it comes out, but he's spined. So I just go down, secure the fish. Massive gag, bro. This is my personal best gag by at least a couple inches. So it was super dope to get him. Henry! You ready? I was very, very excited, obviously, and, you know, it's just not that often you get to see a nice fish in this shallow water, diving like 30 feet. I do want to take a second to talk about braining, bleeding, gutting. It makes a tremendous difference in the meat quality of the fish, so I'd always recommend you do it in that order. Brain, bleed, gut your fish, then put it on ice in the boat. This next series of clips kind of defies explanation. I'm going down chilling out. Kate is in a little bit of a further area uh, of shooting for grouper. I'm just kind of chilling out in the area where I saw that first one. I see a nice snapper. Decide I'm going to take it. Roll it. Right? Uh, start coming up. Bring it up. There's no problems. While this is happening, Cade has shot a gag that has been chased by a goliath. And so I get to the surface and he starts screaming as soon as I try to gut my fish. Come here, on. on what? A gag? <laughs> what? My gun was my real locked up. I couldn't fucking hold on. Is it gone? No, go, go. Oh. So basically, a Goliath ate the gag that he had shot and his reel locked up. So I go down to try to find his gun and I see it just like sitting on top of a pipe. There's the Goliath that ate his shaft. Kind of go up. The line has already been cut by the Goliath, which makes it pretty easy. And we just head up with the gun. I got it. Goliath on him? I don't know. He's in a pipe, I think. So after that fiasco we were much more cognizant of the goliaths around you know much more selective with when we took our shots making sure they would be stone shots you know because they were literally everywhere this day it was incredible so i kind of dove around in areas scouted them out covered water to find these fish and when i saw areas that looked like they would hold concentrations i would go up and then come down to dive again, which is what I'm doing now. I had seen this massive pile of pipes, and now I'm going down and I'm going to dive it more methodically, slowly, check things, just come on through as calmly as I can, crawling along these pipes. So I see two gags pointing out here, make sure to get the stone shot, roll him again, and that way Goliaths aren't able to get to my fish, and that's another nice gag for the cooler really pretty fish man
this next dive is an example of what happens when you don't get the stone shot, or at least get a shot where you're able to extract the fish as quickly as possible. I think that when you have so many goliaths around, you pretty much have to be able to extract the fish on the same dive, or you get lucky and it gets super buried in a pipe. So I see a like legal gag, shoot it. I get it behind the head, so it's a good holding shot, but it takes line out the under end of this pipe, and I'm not able to get over there and pull it back through and out on the same dive. So I head to the surface, breathe up, come back, and by the time I'm back, there's Goliaths everywhere, and my fish has just been torn off the shaft. It's a tank! Right here? Right here, right under me. Kate, 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 we don't, we don't have a light, so go to the bottom, under the tank, look in between the treads, okay? Kate. I'm gonna go sit on the turret, swim under me, and look d like on the bottom, okay? So I went and did this, like just sat on the turret. What he's supposed to do is swim down to the bottom and look in between the treads of the tank, and Grouper will just sit there. The problem was he went to the wrong hole. No, no joke intended, but that is kind of funny. That that gap right there, on, directly under the turret that I'm looking at now, he swam into it, even though I was pointing down at the bottom. I knew if he pulled the trigger in there, he was going to spook everything that was in the good spot for the fish, so I went ahead, went down to the bottom, and looked. And lo and behold, a massive gag is sitting behind that snook. Boom. This gag goes nuts. I... It pulls back all the way in, and what saved it was that it jammed itself in between two of the wheels and had a place to sit as all these Goliaths came coming in. And it became a frenzy down there. Goliaths trying to jam themselves up under this tank. I ran into Cade at the top. This first recovery dive kind of shows how, how much of a mess it is. There's dust everywhere. There's one Goliath. I grab the line. Another Goliath hits me in the face with its tail. And I'm just pulling it out from inside the treads. As soon as I get it loose, I head up to the surface, and Kate starts pulling. And we somehow get it out. Absolute miracle. Never mind! We got it! Henry, how we do today? Only amazing. <laughs> Only amazing. <laughs> We did ridiculous. Some little tiny fish. Yeah, we got some little small fish. Undersized. You know, barely, barely, barely legal. Some of them not legal. Tiny, See, tiny like, gags. First, just tiny little. Really one. small, really tiny. Good. Yep. All right, so we got some pretty good fish today. Grouper one, grouper two. Without Matthew. Grouper three. We got some good fish. Gonna divvy up all the meat. Gonna be good.